What's up, it's Jim from TechnoVault, and in this video I'll give you a no boot guide to create hardcore techno kicks. It sounds like this. Based on this kick, you can go to so many different kicks and I'll show you as well how to do that at the end of the video. Finally, go download this template for free alongside a lot of free techno sample packs on our website. Don't miss out on that one. When everybody started making techno, they used synthesizers, for example, the Roland 909, I think. It just had 909 kicks and with a 909 kick, it all started. So what you want to do is just grab a 909 kick and if you don't have a nice 909 kick, you can go splice, get our sample packs or you can just literally take the e-kit kick in the standard FL Studio folder, you want to route this into a clean channel. So we will start 100% from scratch. How this basically works and coming from Hardstyle Production, it's very easy. We're in 150 BPM and we basically just want to EQ, distort, EQ, distort, EQ, distort. Every EQ and every distortion plugin, I will call a chain. In this case, we'll use three chains alongside a few other effects. And if you use these, every time you make a kick, you will get a 100% guaranteed good hardcore kick. Start with an EQ. The first EQ, you never want to like, just get the basics down. Don't try to do it the different way. So the first EQ has a bass cut, steep aid, like that. Now we can control the highs as well. So you need a high cut and a low cut. Then you want to add Mistortion 2. It's free, it's from Nimble Tools, I'll link it in the description. In this one, you just want to add a little bit of soft clipping, nothing much. That's the first chain. So in the second chain, EQ, another distortion. So in this distortion, before we go into the EQ, you want to add hard clip and soft clip. As you can hear. The combination is what makes it really spicy. Now you can go back into the EQ and we can start to boost frequencies. If you would make hardstyle, or raw style, or French core, you would go and boost this a lot. We boost this a lot, or this a lot, the bass. So basically, in the second EQ, before this distortion, you have three spots to boost because we're not going for hard style, but we're going to aim for it. Like we're going to like suddenly incline that it sounds a little bit hard stylish, hardcore. You know, it's very, it's a subtle line between the two genres. So you can boost the high mids, the low mids and the bass. I generally boost around this range. So that's our second chain ready. Now we can add another EQ and another distortion. In this one, just add some hard clipping. And you can add soft clipping again. We can start to boost frequencies. So how I see it right now, divide it into three chains. The first chain is to control the highs a little bit to clean up. As you can hear. You get more of this like high-end clarity, whatever you want to call it, the mids. This way you also control the sub giving you different effects. If you cut the sub here, you need to boost the sub later to give it a little bit more power because you lost the sub, but that's a different point. This sounds good. I don't want the highs too much. This one, you're going to get the main character of the kick. As you can hear, and if we start to really boost it, you get hardstyle kind of vibes. But if I tried to do that here, you get a different vibe. It still works but I generally want to put it in the second EQ. Then in the final one, we're going to change the tone. As you can hear, you really get these defined characters right now. We have three stages, cleanup and the subcut, the really the character stage, and then the tone stage. So it's the combination of these three th changes and stuff you change in front of every chain. Jesus Christ, we're <laughs> it's a chain section, okay. Basically, everything you change in front of everything completely changes your kick. Here, you want to maybe add this here, add some, you know, mud and clarity, some highs, and then maybe introduce some highs here. Now we're working with a pretty muddy sample where it has a little bit of white noise in it. Probably because it's a analog sound, so... We don't want to push it too much because then we get hard style. Basically, there's two more things that you need to add. The first one being a combination of the soft clipper and inflator. Put an inflator like this and as Frank Paul. Wave shaper on half sign mode is basically the same thing as an inflator. So let's put a half sign wave shaper. And let's add a soft clipper and squash the post gate until it gets too heavy. Now we're really squashing it against the 0 dB. Right now you would have a final kick and you can just change stuff in every EQ and you get different kicks. Look at this. That's one. That's one. Let's add it there and let's add this one here. Let's add this one there. You get so many different variations just by this. important thing is that in any EQ, if you really remove the sub, you get more crunch. And if you boost the sub, you get more sine wave square type stuff. 
as you can hear, and if you remove it, you get more of the mid range. And that's obvious because you remove the sub, so the mid range has more power. So, in this case, I think we would be happy with a little bit more, you know, square wave type kicks. Final thing you can add is a wave shaper. And in F-Studio, this is very easy. There's a bit bunch section right here. It looks like that. You also get this if you put it on stairs mode. And now if we replace this distortion bit munch through the chain, you get different sounds. Let's make it longer. I think we need to put it afterwards because we don't want it to overpower everything. So we put it right here after the three chains, I guess. One, two, three, and here. Let's take down the mix. And that was the final thing that you add in this chain. So whenever you make hardcore techno kicks, add these things. Three chains of EQ, distortion, EQ, distortion, EQ, distortion. The first one, sub cut, high cut, distort it with a soft clipper. The second one, boost the mid, slow mids of bass, then add hard clipping and soft clipping. Third one, boost the sub, change the tone, change the character. And add a little bit of soft clipping, hard clipping combo. Then we add the bit munch section and change the mix. Finally, add a soft clipper, squash the post gain until it starts to clip too much. And add a wave shaper so it's an inflator. Now finally, you have one more option to make it more crunchy, and that is use the symmetry. So in each of these distortions, you'll find a symmetry mode, and this basically is asymmetrical distortion where it only distorts one half of the wave. So if we take a normal wave, like the bottom half is going to be distorted and the other one isn't really. You can change that in any of these three and you just play around with it, but anyways. I think the last one works best because now we're really, you know, changing it. Based on your sample, the 100% or minus 100% works better. Just play around with it and then go only for the one half. So only do 100% or minus 100%. Don't do one on this one and the other one on this one because then you get uh, weird. So anyways, let's use it on the last one and then maybe on the second one as well. As you can hear, that gives you a little bit more power. Finally, what you can do is add an EQ and anywhere in this chain, and you can create automation clips. So let's say I want to add a little bit more power to the mids at the beginning. I automate the mids so that it only opens up in the beginning in that EQ. I'm going to rename this so I can easily find it. And this is called then automation EQ. You can put it in any range. Can make it open up as well so start here and then go like this so let's say this is our final kick and i rendered it out we can now render this out put that here and now we control the kick a little bit because in hard style obviously it's a full kick we're working on techno and that's a little bit more subtle so maybe like this and it's always fun to take your sample and put it through the processing again so as you can hear that's funny um if we take the rendered out sample and change something in the EQ. As you can hear, you can change a lot of this character of this kick if you just go back and change the EQ. Anyways, it shows that more EQ distorts, EQ distorts, blah, 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 blah. That it improves the kick and maybe you get into a hardcore kick instead of like a more, you know, standard hard techno. So you can just really decide yourself how much you want this to be distorted. That's it. Go download the template for free on the website, literally alongside thousands of free techno sample packs. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. It really helps. And um, see you in the next one. Cheers.